A sharp and confident looking Raptors team coming down the tunnel earlier. We'll see if that confidence carries over onto their home floor. It's NBA basketball on 2K Sports. We're glad you could join us on this exciting Friday night matchup. Our game tonight featuring the Toronto Raptors as they go up against the Washington Wizards. This is Kevin Harlan joined by Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and on the sideline, David Aldridge. Only five games left in the season. Let's quickly take a look at how the playoff field is going to stack up out east. You look at the Raptors. It hasn't been a great season for them. We may see some changes in the offseason. And, of course, the Wizards, a couple spots below. So a look at the starters for the Wizards. In the backcourt, it's Jones and Poole. In at the forward positions, Avdia and Kuzma. And it's Holmes, and at the five, down low. And for Toronto, Emmanuel quickly out there with Gary Trent. Then it's Barrett, then it's Kelly Olenek, and it's Abaji in at the four. Conference rivals, Greg, butting heads in this one. How does that raise the stakes here? Well, both teams want this one bad. And, and a chance to prove they're the dominant squad. I, I think it's going to get pretty heated at some point here tonight. And so off the tip, it's Washington's ball. Jones against Quickly. Kuzma with it. It's rebounded by Barrett. Passes it to Quickly. Rebounded by the Wizards. Last time they met was in Washington. And their last matchup was a nail-biter, but they hung on, and in part, it was because of their rebound. Now here's Jones. Holmes. Out to Kuzma. Connects from three-point range. The smooth, no-hesitation shot from Kuzma, keeping him one step ahead of the defense. Quickly the pass to Barrett. Back to Quickly. For the three, score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Matching baskets from the perimeter, an earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Now, here's Kuzma. 17 points for him last game against the Lakers. What a defensive play. Gets the stop and does it without fouling. Quickly against Jones. Pass to Barrett. Shades over Avdia. Off the left rim and out. The inside just a bit too congested for him to get the usual shot he would have with rhythm. Kuzma finds Poole. Here's Abaji. Currently averaging almost six points a game. Has to quickly. Back to Trent. Olenek sets a screen for Trent. And the Raptors hit again from deep. Love shooting it from deep. Gary Trent Jr. with solid three-point numbers. Greg, one thing you know, you're getting with Gary Trent Jr. Volume three-point shooting. He lets it fly. He is really fearless at the arc. I think because of his consistency. And when he gets hot, well, he can get on a burn. And so here's Toronto following the bucket by the Wizards. Barrett kicks to Olenek. Some nice ball movement here by the Raptors. Five to shoot. The tray. And that one's good quickly. Quickly's got six points. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Jones, the pass to Kuzma. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. It's Trent on the wing. Guarded by Poole. Trent kicks to Olenek. Now the pass to Quickly. Barrett for three. Rebound by the Wizards. This is it to Poole. Holmes with it. Olenek is covering. Foul 
out in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Raptors. They came out firing from deep. It's always good for a team's confidence when you can start a game that hot. And I've really liked how they've moved the ball tonight. Because of this selfless approach, they are piling up the assists. On the free throw, no good. Greg, it seems like the Wizards have been trying to find their edge against tough teams. Yeah, and the first question is, which end does it happen on, offense or defense? Because you can win tough games by being great at either. Now, here's Kuzma, following the miss by Gary Trent Jr. And Holmes throws it down. And, and slams it home and gets some camera time on the end of it. He did. He, he spent a while up in that rim, didn't he? Trent outside. Back to quickly. Here's Abaji. Nothing on the board. And the Raptors miss again. Quickly against Jones. Pass to Holmes. And here is Poole. Kuzma, right side, from downtown, buries it from three-point range. A guy who entered into this league, already physically developed, Kyle Kuzma plays through contact. And, Greg, it just seems like every night Kyle Kuzma is going to put up double digits. And he has the potential to be a double-double threat. Just needs to get more aggressive on the glass. regular season. Greg, in your decade plus in the NBA, you were looking forward to the playoffs more often than not. And as a player, you have to avoid that temptation to look ahead. But when you do, it's much nicer to look forward to the playoffs than vacation. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the Washington Wizards. Pass to Avdia. Now, here's Kuzma. Abaji pulls it in. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Olenek finds quickly. Trent outside. Olenek a screen on pool. Avdia with the rebound. Washington's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. To the middle, here's Holmes, and Holmes throws it down. Something Jones does well, making smart passes to wide open guys. Some tough offensive sets, they want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Here's Quickly. Yep, that one goes in there. Quickly's got 10 points in the game. Taking things into his own hands this quarter, trying to keep his team afloat. against Trent. Driving inside. Avdia kicks to Kuzma. There's the pass to Avdia. And Jones has it in the corner. And again, Washington with the triple. That's money in the bank. Jones looks to score from deep whenever he can. Raptors trail by five. And here's Trent. And he can be counted on to put some points on the board every night. He's averaging right around 13 and a half points a game. Here's Abaji. Toronto working the ball around now. Quickly up top, guarded by Holmes. The shot's good from Quickly. How about five of six to start? Looks like he brought his A game. Jones the pass to Holmes. Here's Kuzma. Basket is good. That's his sixth attempt and his third make. 
A great challenge there defensively, but Kyle's mindset wins out on the offensive end. Cool against Trent. Passes to Abaji. Fires the three. He can't get that one. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Cool kicks to Kuzma. Pass to Avdia. Let's it go from deep. And Kuzma gets it to go on the assist by Jones. And it's an eight-point Wizards lead. We talk about Kuzma's ability to score in stretches. Tonight, he's been consistent throughout. Pass to Trent. Olenek sets a screen for Trent. Avdia with the rebound. Avdia's got four rebounds now tonight. Now here's Jones. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now, he averages nearly 12 points a game. Kuzma can't get it to go. Last outing for Toronto, unsuccessful. It was a loss to the Timberwolves in Minnesota. And Barrett now top of the key. Olenek up top. Puts up a three. Abaji can't get it to go. Wizards leading by eight. Outside, Jones. He'll pass to Poole. And here is Holmes. Holmes setting the big for Kuzma. To Holmes. Shots over Olenek. Again, the Wizards good for two. Building up a big early lead. They have taken charge of this game. Play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. Now, here's Barrett. Scoreless thus far. And the rejection by Holmes. Jones against Quickly. Avdia, the pass to Kuzma. High arcing shot. Yep, that one goes. Riding the hot hand, and why not? If something's working, keep going to it. All right, well, look at how the points have been generated so far. Scoring breakdown for the Wizards. They came out firing from deep. It's always good for a team's confidence when you can start a game that hot. Also, they're getting into the teeth of the defense. Points in the paint, something coaches always love to see. Here's what Washington's going with right now. Corey Kisper comes in for Poole. And Landry Shamit subbed in for Tyus Jones. That one misses for Kuzma. Oh, gee, the long arms and athleticism up and down this roster for the Raptors. It is something. Yeah, they have a tight that they're looking for. Blocks, steals, deflections, all coming in bunches. The activity will be there. Just doing the job on the back door. Pass to Avdia. Porter with a block. And that one goes out of bounds. He's touched by Porter. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And that block might serve as a spark for this team. We'll see if it can ignite them. And the wide open shot from Avdia. And the Wizards with possession, leading by 12. And what a way to start this game, dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. So timeout called here, the first for the Raptors. switch here. Barrett's checked in. And a switcher also for Washington. Champagne's checked in. 
And Barrett has got the ball here for the Raptors. It's a 14-point game. Pass to McDaniels. Shoots over Kuzma. A nice shot by McDaniel. Washington has gone 4 6 from long range here early on. Holmes, that's a screen. Here's Shamit. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And the Wizards lead by 15. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. Over in the corner, Brown. And they come right back with their own three point. Both teams running perimeter oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. I'll tell you, this was their strategy coming in. They obviously identified a weakness there inside. Now, here's Barrett. Still yet to score. Shot by McDaniels, no good. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Shamit the pass to Kuzma. There's the three. Toronto grabs the miss. Brown outside. Twenty-three seconds left in the first quarter. Cuts off the pass. Shamit throws down the breakaway jam. Playing with high energy, outworking the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. Now Dick. Over Kispert. And oh, he hits the buzzer beater. One eye on the rim. Clock. Nice job. And what I love, there was no panic on his part. That's the steady pulse you want in that situation. And so it's Kyle Kuzma making things happen for Washington. He totaled 14 points in the quarter. He's given them all the offense they need right now. Right back after this break. Glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And guys, we've seen a competent-looking Wizards team out there. Well, you have to love what they've done offensively after that first period. Crushing it. Absolutely crushing it. Shooting lights out, building a big lead here early on. Raptors trail by 14. So on the floor for Washington. Kyle Kuzma is out there with Marvin Bagley. Then there's Landry Shannon. Then there's Kispert. And it's Champagny in at the shooting guard position. Here's Shannon after R.J. Barrett's bucket. Kuzma outside. Bagley sets a screen for Kuzma. From the strike, Porter pulls it in. Toronto's gone 4 of 8 tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the three ball here. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alder. David. Thank you, guys. Well, Kyle Kuzma has always been a crazy, confident person. He said, I've always had this incredible self-belief that no matter who I'm on the court with, I'm the best player. And that's gotten me to this level. That's gotten me to where I am. So my irrational confidence has always been a key thing for me. Kevin, back to you. Rally owns it, David. I like that. Thanks. Now, here's Bagley. Following the miss by Kyle Kuzma. Here's Champagny. Plenty of room to knock down the shot. Champagny's got his second basket of the night. Raptors trail by 14. Pass to Porter. Back to Barrett. There's the try. And we see players sometimes, Greg, after a change of venue, they, they change teams, certainly taking the next step. What can key that lead? Kevin, it's not all just opportunity and fit. I think there can be a mental component as well. A fresh start can give you a blank canvas 
to try new things. And that one falls for Barrett. And what you like about Barrett is his all-around game. A versatile guard slash forward who wants to keep improving. Second free throw, no good. And one outstanding thing the Raptors do, Greg. They really protect the ball. Yeah, even when they're not playing their best, they don't give away games with mistakes. They force you to find other ways to beat them. And Shamit, the baseline jumper goes down. Shamit's got seven points. A guy with Shamit's shooting ability can make anything work. The mid-range is almost too easy. The pass to Barrett. Rebounded by the Wizards. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Gisbert kicks to Shamit. Kuzma sets a screen. Passes it to Kispert. Six to shoot. The Wizards working the ball around now and taken away by Brown. Down low, McDaniels. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. And really just led him to his sweet spot for that finish. Pass to Bagley. Kuzma with it. Bagley in the post. Guarded by Porter. Bagley, no good. And Barrett has got the ball here for the Raptors. Trailing by 13. Coming off that loss against the Timberwolves. Yeah, a snowball effect in that one. One thing would go wrong, then another, then another. Really, the story of the game. I was surprised they put up so little fight. That was not the team I expected to see that night. Pass to Kispert. Back to Shamit. From deep. And rebounded by McDaniels. The Raptors have gone 2 of 4 shooting the ball here in the second. Dick passes to McDaniels. Here's Barrett. Rebound by the Wizards. Bagley's got four rebounds in this game. The struggle is real. He's been way off with his shot all evening long. That's nice work. Stopping short of the rim. Just laying it over the top. Now here's Brown. Looking at his point production, he averages almost 11 points a game. And again, no good by Toronto. Wizards leading by 15. Kuzma finds Bagley. Knocked away. And here comes Brown. Leading the fast break. For three, Barrett. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Barrett's got his second bucket of the night. Coming off a scoreless first quarter, he's found a little rhythm here. Shannon with it. Seven points in the game. Hits the three-point bomb. Kispert's got his first three points of the game. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Here's Dick. He's coming off a 16-point game against the Timberwolves in Minneapolis. And his scoring's going to get most of the attention, but his rebounding also stood out. He did a lot of glass cleaning in that game. Washington's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. Here's Shamit, and the Wizards hit again from deep. From range, Landry Shamit is just a natural, has total confidence in his own abilities. Brown outside. Porter kicks to Brown. Back to Barrett. Shot clock at six. Here's Dick. Lays it up off the glass. Not just a jump shooter. Dick can operate inside that restricted area. Shannon with it. Picked up by Brown. Kuzma. And Kuzma slams it in. Oh, fellas, that was vicious. Two-hand monster slam. Guys, I don't think there was anyone who could have stopped him on that one. 
Now, here's Barrett. He has six. The kick out to Brown. Fires from deep. And the Raptors hit again from deep. And you see the passing instincts Barrett has. Great at recognition out on the floor. Shamit the pass to Bagley. Kuzma outside. Shoots over McDaniel. Rebound by the Raptors. And he's frustrated. That's a shot he can make in his sleep. Dick passes to Brown. And the pass to Dick. A 17-footer. Washington with the rebound. Kuzma's got rebound number five here tonight. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Bagley finds Kuzma. And the Wizards hit again from deep. And, and let's see, guys, if that triggers another little explosion from him after hitting three triples in that first quarter. And the time Raptors out, time call out. time here. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out, contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. And now here is our rookie watch since the All-Star break. These have been the best three-point shooters of the NBA's freshman crop. Brady Dick, third. And his shot starting to fall consistently here the second half of the season. Credit him for staying in the gym, putting in the work, and continuing his development. Jones looking for an opening. Passes it to Poole. Jones with the screen on Trent. The three from Poole. Abaji pulls it in. Raptors trail by 16. And a guy who's easy to trust, Smitty, running this offense, Tyus Jones. He is completely unselfish, Kevin. He makes smart plays out there. Knows when it's his time to score. And he's a second coach on the floor. Oh, good with the triple. He can hit it from deep, but needs a little more room to operate. And the defense wouldn't give it to him. Jones kicks to Shannon. To the inside. Holmes, good. Holmes got 14 points for the game. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. Jones against Quickly. Pass to Dick. Back to Quickly. Down to five on the shot clock. The Raptors need to get a shot. And that one, good. This is how focused Kelly Olenek is. Outstanding at fending off the defense. Now, here's Shamit. Defense is right there. Offensive rebound. He misses it. He's four for seven from the floor. Raptors trail by 16. Here's quickly. Good D by Jones. Wizards have gone eight of 16 from the field in the second quarter. A nice, efficient 50%. Pass to Poole. Jones sets the pick for Poole. Over in the corner, Avdia. Good on the three-point shot. Abdiev's got himself on the board with three there. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Now, here's Quickly. He's coming off a 16-point game against Minnesota. Olenek, a screen on Jones. Quickly with a wide-open look. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. He's got 15. There it is. His first make from beyond the arc in the second quarter. His third of the game. The three from Poole. Kept alive. Kicks it out to Jones. And there's the pass to Poole. Holmes against Olenek. Here's Avdia. Misses the three. And so it's Trent with it. He brings it up for the Raptor. It's a 16-point game. Two free throws go. 
coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. And you know, Greg, they call him IQ. Instant offense is Emmanuel Quickly. Yeah, and he puts points on the board quickly. No pun intended. A volume three-point shooter and has a deadly little floater in the lane. Shoot two. A free throw dropped for quickly. R.J. Barrett's checked in for Dick. And the Wizards making a change here as well. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for Landry Shamit. And he makes the first but misses the second. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. Jones, the pass to Poole. Holmes with a screen on Barrett. Poole, no good. So for the Wizards, their last game a loss to the Lakers. Here's Barrett. Six points for him. Shoots from the line. Good on the jump shot. Barrett's got eight points. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. Pass to Holmes. Kuzma finds Jones. French against Poole. Here's Holmes. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. 16 points for him. Shooting at a high clip. He's found ways to get quality looks. Quickly against Jones. The 11-footer. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. on the wing. Defended by Trent. Avdia kicks to Jones. The Wizards working the ball around now. Holmes passes to Kuzma. Tipped away. Here's Abaji. Guarded by Poole. Feeds to Olenek. This is to Barrett. Six on the shot clock. Unloads from nine. It's good. Man, I tell you, hard to guard Barrett any better than that. At, at times, he's capable of taking and making the tough shot. And so it's Washington holding up under an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. We're feeling very confident shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Good to see you and welcome. A lopsided game through two quarters and a big deficit for the Toronto Raptors. Okay, fellas, time to dig into the mental archive. Any particular memories of dominating a first half like we just saw? Just like Kenny winning two championships, I don't think anyone saw that coming. But it did happen. Keep doubting me, Shaq. It's my fuel. Now for a moment to look at our game, everything, and I mean everything, is falling into place for the Washington Wizards. We don't get to see this every night. They're passing up good shots for great shots, getting high percentage looks. That's how they've controlled the game. I just think that they're a more physical team, Shaq. Probably not something that will change in the second half. And that about wraps it up. And as the third quarter is about to begin, we go to Kevin Harlan for the call.
that as we dive into the second half we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two so far it has been a runaway without question Kyle Kuzma displaying his skills today in those first two quarters he was pretty much an automatic bucket getter if he got it down low on the block I have to credit them for their patience offensively they understood the matchup and they took the necessary time to exploit it we've got Olenek Emmanuel quickly out there with Gary Trent then it's Barrett and it's Abaji in at the four-man position so that's the five in the game for Toronto Holmes setting the pick for Jones and there it is for him Jones has got five. Tyus Jones doing a great job of breaking down the defense in the pick and roll, taking what they gave him. Quickly finds Barrett. Trent outside. Doubled by Holmes. Quickly the pass to Trent. Nailed from three-point land. Trent's got his second bucket tonight. I love the elevation on that shot. Gary Trent Jr. is a big-time scorer. Jones the pass to Holmes. Here's Kuzma. Outside, Jones. Holmes with a screen on quickly. Here's Jones. And Washington again with the bucket. The pure shooting ability of Jones, allowing him to make short work of the mid-range. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks very much, Kevin. Toronto has a new head coach in Darko Rajakovic. He started coaching at 16 in his home country of Serbia. So even though he's still young, he's already a lifer. In his near decade as an NBA assistant coach, he made a name for himself in player development. Of course, Kevin, that's going to be essential now with the rebuilding Raptors. It is, but I love his resume. His story is terrific. He is just what they need. David, thank you. And Toronto has possession. Following the miss by Kyle Kuzma. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Washington leading now by seven. And here's Jones. Seven points in the game. Kuzma outside. Jones against quickly. Four on the shot clock. Holmes, good. Holmes got 18 points. They're doing work here in the second half. Three or four to start. Now, here's quickly. 18 points for him. He kicks it to Barrett. To the paint. Here's Olenek and the dunk by Olenek. Love the coordination there. Olenek making himself available and the pass was on point. Kuzma outside. Back to Jones. Inside. A steal. Here's Trent. Beautiful dish and the layup goes down. And now just a five-point Washington lead. Yeah, this offense is rolling. They've been assertive, but they're also playing under control. And it has them in a great spot to take the lead. They love to get a few stops now at the other end. Now, here's Avdia. His scoring has been there on a regular basis. He's averaging more than 14 points a game. Firing on all cylinders here in the third. Only one miss in five attempts. And Barrett gets it to go. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Washington leading now by five. Pass to Avdia. Back to Jones. And the Wizards getting another bucket right there. The offense was firing on all cylinders, and that's the exact kind of shot they wanted. The Raptors have gotten six of their seven shots to go down in this court. What a fantastic start to the half. The feed to Olenek. Got it. Good job in the low post. Olenek's got his third basket of the night. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Pass to Holmes. To the inside. Poole kicks to Kuzma. Poole against Trent. Back to Kuzma. 
Let's the three fly, and Rashawn Holmes gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. Second personal foul. Raptors trail by five. Now, quickly, 18 points for him. Good ball movement here by the Raptors. Here's Barrett. Good for his sixth make and a dozen attempts, shooting 50% with that basket. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Avdia, the pass to Poole. Now Kuzma. It's good. And it's now 23 points for Kyle Kuzma. Anytime you watch Kyle, you see the production. Plus, you see the potential for more. And the call will be against Emmanuel Quickly. That's his first foul. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. Wizards leading by five. Cool with it. No scoring in this one. Here's Avdia. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on R.J. Barrett. No question. He got bumped on that shot. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Wizards? Smart ball handling from them in this one. Passing around to get ahead of the defense and putting it in the hands of ready shooters. And you know, another thing that's really been working for them tonight is the mid-range. That They're having no problem finding shots in that area. First free throw is good. And so he hits both. When your bigs can make free throws, it's a huge advantage. Love his approach to get to the line. Screen by Olenek. Barrett, wide open, he fires. And a miss there on the triple. And, and, and really credit their advantage on the backboard. That's where the lead has been built, and that's why they are in control. Now, here's Holmes. He's got 18. Pool the pass to Avdia. Kicks it out to Jones. Drains it from beyond the arc. Jones has got 12 points in the game. In case anyone was wondering, this is what it looks like when you're in the zone. He hasn't missed one all quarter. The pass to Quicken. Olenek, a screen on Jones. Quickly the pass to Trent. Shoots over Poole. Trent can't hit. Look, that's in his range, but he had a defender right up in his chest. Kuzma against Quickly. Avdia, seven points in the game. Passes to Jones. Shoots from the baseline. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Raptors trail by 10. And here is Quickly. 18 points for him. Barrett. And the Raptors miss again. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. Here's Poole. Count it. Poole's got his first two points of the night. Man, just adding insult to injury. He just waltzes inside and extends this lead. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Now, here's Trent. Ten points for him. Here's Abaji. And the rejection by Hull. Here's Jones. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Gotta credit the finishing skills of Jones. Fantastic work scoring in a difficult spot. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And to this point on the season, guys, 80% from the line. He's done a really good job. Dix checked in for R.J. Barrett. 
Kispert's checked in for the Wizards. And that one falls for Jones. You know he's a really good free throw shooter, but Tyus Jones knows he could be a great one. And the Raptors call time here. And Coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive. Porter's checked in for the Raptors. Marvin Bagley's checked in for the Wizards. Now let's step back and look at the top passing teams in the NBA this season. The real stats, the real scores from the real NBA. Fifth, the Raptors. And, and you know, when your team has a lot of assists, it's testimony to the unselfishness, the, the patience, the ball movement, the player movement. They have shown all of that. Now, here's quickly. 18 points for him. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Abdiya. Back to Poole. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Poole's got four this quarter. Oh, great ball movement there. Pass to Abaji. Quickly against Jones. Dick passes to Quickly. Porter, a screen on Jones. Here's Quickly. And finished off by Porter. And, and didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Now, here's Poole. He has been a nice option for them offensively and is averaging more than 17 points a game. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Here's Quickly. It's good from long range. Quickly's got 21 in the game. And this team's struggles are not his fault. He's putting in work at the offensive end. Here's Poole. Porter pulls it in. Porter's got his fifth rebound in this one. Poole against Trent. Pass to Quickly. Bagley brings the double team. Quickly with it. Good ball movement here by the Raptors. And here is Trent outside. Avdia dishes to Jones. The pass to Bagley. Now, here's Poole, defended by Trent. Poole against Trent. Shoot from 12. That one wide left. Having a shaky time from the floor, but his teammates have been picking up the slack. To the middle. And finished off by Poole. Beautiful location on the pass, as usual. Led his man perfectly. Wizards leading by 13. Bagley with a screen on quickly. Here's Jones. It falls for his seventh bucket of the contest. He's seven for nine. And he's shaking off that slow start, giving them a boost here in the second. Passes it to Abaji. Pass to Dick. Porter, no luck. Doesn't register as a block, but he did everything you want defending that shot. You know what he did? He timed it well and did a good job of contesting without committing the foul. There's 53 seconds left in the third. Quickly against Jones. Here's Abaji. Bagley with the rebound. Bagley's got six rebounds here tonight. Avdia kicks to Jones. Pass to Poole. Back to Jones. Over quickly. Abaji pulls it in. Raptors trail by 17. There's the pass to Dick. Dick. 
There's a screen by Porter. Plays it up and banks it in. Porter's got six here in this quarter. And so it's Washington. Their lead at 15 going into the break. Their strategy. Right, work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. We've got more in store for you right after this. different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Now here's Butler. Fourth quarter on the court for the Wizards. They've got Kyle Kuzma. He's out there with Gill. Butler out there with Kispert. And a Champagny in at the two guard. Now here's Kuzma. Shot clock at five. 17-foot shot on the way. Raptors trail by 15. There it finds quickly. Down low. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Yeah, outstanding job there of taking the harm and still able to finish. And the Raptors making a change here. Dix checked in. A change for the Wizards. Shamit's checked in. One shot. Washington leading now by twelve. Pass to Gill. Banked in off the glass. Gill's got his first bucket in this one. You need guys who are willing to make the next pass. Shaman doesn't rack up a lot of assists, but he's unselfish. We played just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. A shot by McDaniels, no good. All the time in the world to get that one off. Kuzma passes to Champagny. And here is Shamit. He's covered by Brown. Gill with a screen on Brock. And it's Shamit missing. Raptors trail by 14. Dick passes to Brock. Top of the key, McDaniel. Gill against Barrett. Lock at six. Kicks it to Brown. Launches a three. Rebound, Washington. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. They'll be playing host to Portland for their next game. That game is the first and last of their homestead. Pass to Kispert. Fires for three. Buries the long-range jumper. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Now, here's Brown. Driving the lane. That's good from Porter on the assist by Brown. Brown's got his third assist on the night. Now, here's Shamit. He's covered by Brown. Gill the pass to Kuzma. And Kuzma slams it in. This is what you like to see. Kuzma not settling for something along the perimeter. In fact, just the opposite. Brown outside. Screen by McDaniel. Barrett kicks to McDaniel. Rebound by the Wizards. Kuzma's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Here's Champagny. McDaniel's defending to the paint. 
Now Shamit, Kuzma outside. And again, Washington with the triple. Picking up from where he left off, I lost count of how many threes he hit in the first half. Now nails this one. Pass to Dick. And we know that several active NBA players, Steve, have their own podcast. Uh, players now have a direct platform for their voice, and I think they like that. Yeah, they do. They want to be able to own their own content, want to be able to put out their different stories the way they want to. They want to be in control of everything that has to do with them. Brown deciding where to go with it. Dick with it. There at the pass to Dick. Porter with a screen for Dick. And there's the pass to Porter. And there's the drive. And that time, also a missed shot. And it's Kuzma with the ball for Washington. They've only given up five points here in the fourth quarter. And that one's good, Shamit. Yeah, this looks like a pregame shoot-around with all the threes they're allowing. Toronto calls timeout. Without question, Kyle Kuzma displaying his skills today. Yeah, they're going to have to find a way to run him off his spots out there. He is rolling. Here they come, fans. Good north, side crew. Both teams will make substitutions. Good north, side crew. Show them some love, fans. And here are the Raptors now. Here's Barrett. Here's Olenek. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. The hustle, the energy. It's why Olenek is out here. Great work. Kuzma outside. Jones sets the pick for Kuzma. And Steve, with the way these NBA players can reach out to each other with ease, how much off-court communication do you think is going on? I think a lot is going on, Kevin. A lot of these players have been playing with each other or against each other from a long time since they were young in AAU. Uh, because of social media and also the internet, it makes the world that much smaller. These guys communicate way more than we did. Now, here's Poole. Holmes with a screen on Trent. The three from Poole. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Oh, Linux got six rebounds here tonight. Passes to Quickly. Now, oh, Linux. Here's the three. Rebounded by Holmes. Holmes got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Jones against Quickly. To the inside. Holmes. And Holmes throws it down. This is from textbook pick and roll right there. Jones is solid at navigating these sets. Jones against Quickly. Here's Abaji. Barrett inside the three point line. And the Raptors miss again. Jones from outside. Abaji pulls it in. Abaji's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Quickly against Jones. The teardrop falls in. Quickly's got 23. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. Jones with the bounce pass. Now here's Kuzma. He's covered closely. There's the triple. And it's Jones, that time on the assist by Kuzma. Kuzma's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Jones against Quickly. Trent passes to Olenek. Smitty, we've seen some great MVP races in these last few seasons, haven't we? Yes, we have. The depth of talent at the very top of the NBA is terrific. MB, Giannis, Jokic, Curry, LeBron, Tatum. The MVP is up for grabs every season. 
Avdia gets the bucket. And loving the strategy. Even though you're well ahead, you want to stay in attack mode. You want to stay aggressive right at the rim, driving another nail into the coffin. Here's Trent. Then Avdia making his last shot. And it's good for two. Trent's got nine points now in just the second half. A much different player here in the second half. He's taking advantage of what the defense allows. Here's Holmes. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. Great dive from Kuzma there. Assessing the situation and making the right play. Quickly against Jones. Out to Barrett. Shot clock at six. Poole against Trent. And again, it's Toronto converting. You know, as ice cold as he was in the first half, that's how hot he has been since the break. No one can match up with him right now. Pass to Holmes. Kuzma outside. Holmes, that's a screen. Kuzma passes to Holmes. And Holmes throws it down. Explosive leaping ability allows him to play the five, even though he's a little undersized. Quickly the pass to Olenek. Back to quickly. Pass to Olenek. Toronto working the ball around now. Shoots the three. Traps in the tray. Quickly's got 26. Had that one in his sights. Two, his fifth triple of the game, second this half. Kuzma with a screen on quickly. Jones finds Holmes. The kick out to Poole. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Trent passes to quickly. And GA start next season. Some big repeat penalties for teams well over the camp. That draft pick penalty is especially tough. Yeah, I mean, if a team is over that 17 and a half million mark twice in a four-year span, their first round draft pick falls to the end of the first round. That'll stay. You know, Greg, for the Olympics, basketball is a shared family passion. Yeah, I mean, Kelly's father was a coach. But his mom was actually the first woman to be an NBA scorekeeper. So he was raised around the game. And he makes the first. As a modern big, Kelly Olenek is a pretty complete package. He can shoot, he can crash the glass, and he has a good eye for passing. And the Wizards are going with a whole new group out there now. And so Olenek nails both of them. And so it's Butler with it. He'll bring it up for Washington. Gill with a screen on quickly. Butler against quickly. The pass to Gill. Six to shoot. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. Shooting for Washington. Anthony Gill taking two shots. Shooting two. The first one falls. And with NBA's upcoming broadcasting deal, Steve, starting in 2025, a lot of streaming services vying to carry games. Kevin, we'll see how it plays out. But with those additional media outlets and the bidding, the sense is the next deal could be a doozy. And it's a completely new group for Toronto. Gill hits them both. Here's Brown. There's a minute 40 left to play in the final quarter. This is it to Dick. 
The three. Offensive rebound. There's a screen by Porter. Another shot. And it's good on the way in. Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for Washington. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. Uh, they just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And for the year now, they'll be tallying their 16th win. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Rashawn Holmes. You know, he was flying around on both ends of the floor. Terrific energy and enthusiasm. And that rubbed off on his teammates. I thought he was a catalyst tonight. Now, here's Butler. Pass to Gill. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Wizards, Anthony Gill, two shots. Oh, take a break, take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Gill. And so he makes both from the line. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Olenek up top. Raptors moving the ball around. Here's Barrett. Pass to Abaji. And here is Quickly. And so it's Washington easily grabbing this one. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. That's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Guys, thanks. Kyle Kuzma, congrats on the win. What were you able to do successfully tonight? I think um, as a team collectively, we just got stops and uh, we kind of found a rhythm on uh, offense, and you know, we uh, I think we just you know got it done like that. Well, that rhythm led to a W, man. Congrats. Back to you. All right, David. Thank you. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Alden, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now we present the New Balance Player of the Game. Rashawn Holmes.